do you think the secret to life is? The secret? Ain't no secret. Stop being disobedient to the Almighty. Period. What's going on, y'all? Keep the law, statutes, and commandments. Make yourself familiar with the law, statutes, and commandments. Read the Bible. Be obedient to the Most High because your disobedience and your ignorance or you just doing what you want to do because you want to do it is the root to all, to all of your problems. Let me tell you something. The Most High sends people to come bother you, to come mess with you, to come put you in your place. People. So these people that you're complaining about, they're doing exactly what they're supposed to be doing to exactly who they're supposed to be doing it to. I'm telling you, you can't just do what you want to do. You can't. You can't be an alcoholic. You can't be on drugs. You're grown. You shouldn't be out here partying with demons because that's what you're doing. Gay, gay relationships. You shouldn't be doing any type of. You shouldn't be doing any any of that activity. It's nasty, and it's demonic. It's lower vibration. Everything that the Most High told you to do, you benefit from, not him. Your children benefit from, not him. Your children's children benefit from, not him. You can't complain. You can't be wicked and then complain when everything ain't all good or when, when, when you're just barely, you're not, you're barely making it. Listen, it's probably because you're looking around at wicked people who do more wickedness than you do and they're succeeding. I think that's what it is. You're probably jealous. You're like, no, no. They know people. They know people who know people. They made contracts with demons to acquire things that you want to acquire. You made con you you made you made contracts with demons too to acquire things. You just don't you just don't see it that way. That pleasure that you're having, that pleasure that you're receiving by doing the kind of activity that you want to do, that's your reward. Just because you want riches don't mean you're always going to get it. That pleasure that you want you got it and I hope it's worth it it's simple y'all it's simple stop disobeying the most high the creator stop letting demons make you think that it's okay to do what you know is wrong I repeat stop letting demonic people who are nothing but vessels being driven they're just avatars for demons stop letting them convince you or tell you that wickedness is okay when you know that it's wrong you better read the scriptures Jesus Jesus was living in a world at a time when government was wicked and it was okay for you to do wickedness and they put a godly it was godly it, it was godly you were you were okay with god if you were living life this way jesus and his disciples were speaking out about it saying nah y'all wrong stop listening to that it's just like today it, it, Christ, it's just like christianity today don't judge it's okay it was going on in Jesus' time. And he was speaking out about it. And they didn't like it. Nobody liked it. If they didn't like Jesus back then for speaking what was right while they were doing what was wrong, what makes you think that they would like him now? If he would come back, they wouldn't. Jeremiah was living in a world, in a place, at a time when there was dirty religion going on, where people were doing wickedness and, and, and there was a narrative 
saying that it was okay and that it was good. Moses, everybody, why else do you think, why else do you think that um, the people had a problem with Moses? Because of what he was preaching. If Moses was trying to liberate them out of slavery, how could you have a problem with what I'm telling you if I'm trying if I'm here to liberate you out of slavery? Because they were confused. They were used to slavery. They didn't know they were slaves. They were alright with being slaves. They were prospering. They had jobs and money and women and and fun and food. And you're and you're you're going out the same way. Yo, those people tempted the most high, they tempted the most high, they tempted the most high. Yo, you need to ask yourself, am I the kind of person that the most high don't really like? Like God don't really like. Am I the, am I the kind of person? Do I do the kind of stuff that, that would make the most high want to send somebody to come and warn me to stop? Before I go to hell, am I that kind of person? More than likely, you are. Especially if, if, if you're if, if you're a self-proclaimed targeted individual, then more than likely you are. You need to get stuff right in your life. I'm not saying that the targeting is ever going to stop, but what I'm saying is the dynamics of it will change to the point where you don't have to complain about it anymore. You will start to see that these people are scared of you. You don't have to complain about that. You would know deep down that they're doing way more complaining about you than you're doing about them. If you start following the law, statutes, and commandments, they'd say, he didn't die. Did you put it in his food? Yeah, he just didn't die. Did you spray that crap over his house? And he just didn't die. Did you put all of the radiation at him, turn the whole way up? Yeah, but he just wouldn't die. You sent that woman in his life? Mm-hmm, just didn't die. As a matter of fact, he got better. The more that we tried, the more traps that we laid, he got better. He quit drinking alcohol. We used to stress him out to the point where he thought alcohol was his only friend. We never expected him to quit drinking it. He did. He quit smoking, weed and cigarettes. He quit watching porn on his phone and beating off every other night. He stopped, he cut all that out. He doesn't even watch TV. He doesn't watch TV. He doesn't watch movies. This dude tries to walk a straight and narrow path. Now you see how they're complaining about you? You can't come and do nothing to the to a child of God, somebody who's trying their hardest to um to follow the most high's statutes and commandments. And then I say here, I tell you to quit eating meat. And you think that I'm just giving you my opinion. Where does it say that in the Bible? You don't understand, do you? You don't understand. Moses was saying stuff that you couldn't find in the Bible. The Bible did exist because the most, you know that it did because Moses was having quarrels with high ranking people in um, in Egypt, of Israel though. 200 of them to be exact. Who are you to, Who are you and Aaron to sit there and say that we gotta go out in the nature? Where does it say that at in the Bible? Moses said, listen, I'm gonna show y'all who I am. I'm gonna show y'all who I really am. When the ground opens up and swallows these people up whole and they go into hell, they go into Sheol, alive, I'll show y'all who I am. And then Moses went and rewrote the scriptures. Moses went up and rewrote the scriptures because they were tampered with. Read Maccabees. The, the scriptures was tampered with. They, 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 they injected images of themselves in our books. Why would the Most High say, don't add to it or don't take away from it? The, the scriptures. If it could, if it wasn't possible to be done, of course it's possible. The same way the Most High said, "Don't indulge in witchcraft." Everything that the Most High say, don't do, they do it. Jeremiah was preaching to the people; they couldn't find it in the scriptures. They didn't listen to him. But now it's to the point where you can't even find it in the scriptures, and don't nobody care. I told you, stop eating meat. You have to raise your vibrations. Mother Earth is waking up. It's not my opinion. I don't care if, if 300 people ain't sitting here saying what I'm saying. Mother Earth is waking up and you have to raise your vibrations. People talk about being raptured out of here. How? How are you going to get raptured out of here? Why don't you deserve to go down? Oh, because you work a job, you work an honest living, you make an honest dollar. 
You don't care. You have no compassion whatsoever. You better get it right. You better get it right. You don't have forever to get it right. You know, time's running out. You better get it right. The name of the game is to raise your vibrations and stop being disobedient to the most high. You gonna keep eating meat? All right. Watch what happens. Stop eating meat. Stop killing bugs. Stop killing animals. Have compassion. You have to higher your vibrations right now. The devil did everything that he could do to lower your vibrations. And now you have to do everything that you can do to raise your vibrations. You know as well as I do that meat sits in your system and it rots for weeks before it's cleared out. You know that. You know that it clogs up. It clogs up your tubes and stuff. You know that too. You better get it right. You better get it right. Use your brain. You better listen to somebody that's trying to help you. You know they ain't lying. You know they're telling you the truth. You're just addicted. You're accustomed to things. And now you make excuses to keep on doing it. You ain't dumb. You ain't no dummy. You better raise your vibrations. Doesn't matter. You better raise your vibrations. It's called, it's called, it, okay, it's called going above and beyond. We're, we're allowed to eat meat. They go above and beyond. Do all that you can do to raise your vibrations then, fool. You know that darn well, if you was eating greenery, if you was eating veggies and fruits and drinking water and higher vibrational stuff, smoothies, that you would be a, a, a more healthier, smarter, intelligent, higher vibrating individual. You know that. You know that you're force filled, that your aura filled will be stronger and more powerful. You know that. Stop acting dumb. And if you stop drinking alcohol, smoking, partying, listening to that whack lower vibrational music, messing around with these lower vibrational men and women, stop doing gay shit, stop doing sodomite shit, you will be higher vibrating too and the most high will look at you and smile. I know what it's like to have a relationship with the most high. And there's nothing that can compare. There's no party. There's no alcohol. There's no drinks. There's no food. There's no money. There's no house. There's no car. There's nothing that can compare. Remember that. Think about it. You're, you're like an unruly child in this world at this point in time. You should be serious. And you know you should. They're not playing with us. We got wicked ass presidents and stuff like that talking about I grabbed her by the... You're, this is hell. What are you doing in hell playing games? Your great, great, your great, 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 great descendants. If they could hear what you were doing at a time like this, you would make a child look at you. You would make a child look at you and shake its head. You would make a child look at you and go, Peace, y'all. Get it right.